let's go. Extraordinary CrossFit is a, uh, a CrossFit box. We deal with the uh, CrossFit methodologies. Uh, by definition, CrossFit is constantly varied uh, functional movements at a high intensity. So what that means is that the athlete's going to come in and for a short period of time. They're going to be real um, explosive, uh, perform the workouts at high intensity, which is a time-based. We put a time-based element to it to make that happen. Everything we do is. is uh, uh, results based, so we want to we want to basically increase your work capacity uh, during the workouts and for the duration of the workouts. Never really talks much, never concerned with status, but still even them starstruck. Humble through opportunities given despite the fact that many misjudge because it makes a living from writing rats. The CrossFit applies to all, all, all ages, there's no boundaries. Um, what we do here at Extraordinary CrossFit is, is we will scale all the workouts accordingly to the athlete's capabilities. You're going to have a workout that you're going to perform. Um, it's going to be based on your personal capabilities, not your neighbors, not your athlete beside you. So we're going to scale the workouts and put you in a position to succeed. Be there as your encourager, but we're also going to push you. This stupidest verse, this dude is the truth. Now everybody giving them guest spots and stocks through the roof. I heard you. Right now, CrossFit is a uh, is really the training of the future. Yeah, so, so, so the workouts are generally, the workout itself is no longer than about 23 minutes. I would say yeah, we cap it off at around 25 to, 20 to 30. Uh, but the workout structure is you're going to come in for 15 minutes, you're going to warm up, stretch, uh, and then you're going to be going into your workout where the instructor will actually go through the workout of the day, uh, you know, relay the uh, movements that you're going to perform that day. And then after, after the workout's complete, you'll have a 15 minute cool down where you do stretching, you want to do a walk, a casual run, whatever you want to do. But most of that, all that stuff is instructor led. Common on his name, people keep asking him, was it given? Traditional gyms um, operate in the capacity that they count on you not showing up. The investment is not in the athlete or the So, CrossFit, we, we actually want there's, there's a little bit more attention. Um, we, we're going to be with each athlete, going to understand the capabilities. I mean, there's a, a lot of uh, effort that goes into the science behind CrossFit. You can get it. Uh, go to our website at extraordinarycrossfit.com. On there, you can see what is CrossFit. There's, you know, there's a link to the main website. We take it personal that you improve your overall fitness, both from the fitness side as well as from the nutrition side. So, yeah, so the time we, we offer classes from uh, from two o'clock uh, on the hour, every hour. Our last class begins at eight o'clock. We offer that's Monday through Friday. Uh, we're forming classes also in the morning. We're looking for morning candidates. But we also have Saturday morning classes from 9.30 to 10.30, 10.30 to 11. We offer a, a week's free training, uh, which is really typically three days of training. Again, we open at 2 o'clock, and so they can drop in. There'll be a trainer available that they can get with, and, and, and uh, we'll walk them through the three-step program that we have. Uh, during that time, we'll assess their physical capabilities and then um, get ready to introduce them into the regular classes. So, so the sports performance, we, we're, we're working with high school collegiate athletes as well as junior high athletes, helping them improve their, their performance on the field, uh, in the gym, uh, whether it's volleyball, baseball, football. Uh, what I like about Extraordinary CrossFit is that it just helps our girls stay healthy. Um, it's great to help build their core, it helps build their stamina so that when they're playing, um, they can play for more than one day. We have two, three day tournaments and our girls can not only play, but they are healthy at the same time. I think that they're stronger. Um, I think that they are able to play uh, when it matters. Um, a lot of times they lose their legs by the second and third day of a tournament and our kids are kicking it in at that point in time. How you like me now? I say we rap the south. So what you talking about? I'm not running out my mouth. I know this without a doubt. Cause if you know these streets, then these streets. The athlete is going to have a wide range. Everything from explosive movements to plyometrics um, to, to just the, uh, their endurance athlete. Being able to finish, finish a task or finish the, 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 uh, the sport. 
score uh, strong. What we've seen is the uh, the overall work capacity increase um, for some of the girls that we train, the volleyball girls. Um, uh, typically, they what we've seen in the history is that around the second day of our volleyball girls, they typically fall off. What we're seeing now is that their performance uh, continue to increase throughout that, that third day of when they play all the matches. Uh, a lot of our athletes, uh, football-related athletes, um, show an explosive, show a different dynamic of, uh, of an athlete. We, um, from everything from being more explosive to being able to be comfortable uh, in, their, in their environment and perform at high levels. They like it. They think that they're challenging. Um, they think that um, uh, they like it because they're competing against themselves, not necessarily against someone else. So they're always trying to better themselves. So they really enjoyed the process thus far. One of the things that we do with our, with our athletes, especially in the performance, is we do a benchmark at the end of every month. And the benchmark generally runs two months in a row. So we have a baseline, and then we come back and evaluate how that, that athlete has improved at that benchmark. So we are results-based. You know, that's, that's the thing about CrossFit. We are results-based. Um, we want the athlete that's going to be able to, to be able to run a marathon or to be able to compete in a marathon. They may not win it, but they'll be able to compete. Uh, but we'll also have the athletes that, that may not be the, the, the strongest athletes, but they'll be able to complete a lot of work. Fifteen minute workout feels like an hour.